The Chicago Bears lose to the New Orleans Saints in week nine by a final score of 24 to 17. So let's talk about this game, people. What is going on? Y'all, Fox Sports all back at it with another video talk. And of course, it's a matter of fact, here to talk about the Chicago Bears and here to talk about that game against the Saints, which was extremely frustrating because even though it didn't start before the game as a, a game that we thought was potentially winnable, it certainly was throughout the game. And the Bears, in Bears fashion, uh, find a way to just not capitalize on the opportunity. So we'll start, as we always do, with the quarterback, right? Tyson Bajan making, I believe, his third start today. Started out pretty solid in this game. The Bears scored first. They they, they drew blood first in this game. Had a nice uh, throw to Cole Komet, who came down with a nice catch. And he had a, a, a great game today. Cole Komet did six, six catches for 55 yards and two touchdowns. And Bajan continued to play pretty well and then completely unfolded. I mean, the wheels fell off and Tyson Bajan turned into an absolute pumpkin. Guess that's right, a pumpkin. I'm sorry, but he did. All right, three interceptions on today. Count him up, one, two, three, and a fumble at the very end, which pretty much gave the game away. And look, Tyson Bajan's final stat line, 18 for 30, 220 passing yards, two touchdowns, three interceptions. That did not get the job done and won't get the job done. Folks, Tyson Bajan has talent. He's got some potential. But this kid is not better than Justin Fields. This is basically what we were trying to say, right, uh, as Bajan came off that first victory against the Raiders, like, he did what he needed to do and managed the game well, but he was never put in positions where he needed to make things happen. Today, he was put in those positions, and time after time after time he faltered. The Bears could have easily tied this game and potentially won it, but Tyson Bajan couldn't capitalize on the opportunities. The Saints were begging to give the game away, but Bajan multiple times had opportunities, especially that last drive, and just completely folded. Just no awareness, people. And here's the thing that's so frustrating. He was in the pocket and getting good protection. I mean, he had time. He was sitting back there, one Mississippi, two Mississippi. They're like, I'm counting in my head as I'm watching. And I'm like, whoa, bajan has got time. Now, I get it. The, the Saints might not, uh, you know, uh, the Bears might not have receivers opening against the Saints secondary. But, man, make something happen. And that last play, uh, you know, where essentially gave the game away, Bajan, again, held the ball so long, no awareness, the passers gets to him, fumble, and it's going the other way. So that's the thing. I don't want to kill the kid, but, like, he's not better than Justin Fields. I'm sorry. He just isn't. Justin Fields would have been able to do better against his defense than Tyson Bajan. Bajan's a nice kid. He's, yeah, he's a backup to me. Um, got a little potential, but he's not Justin Fields. I'm sorry. So I hope Justin Fields is back for next week's game against the Panthers. Um, and the sooner he gets back, the better, because man, do we miss Justin Fields. And today, Bajan didn't just, you know, play bad. He played horribly in that second half. Just started off decent and completely faltered. You just can't have that happen, especially in game in which he had some support. 20 carries for 83 rushing yards for Dante Foreman. Darnell Mooney, a nice game with five catches for 82 yards. And like I said, the Saints, they didn't put up 35, 40 points like they put up 24, you could have won this game, and you didn't. Taysom Hill, Bears defense really didn't know what to do when Taysom Hill was in the game because he's just a Swiss Army knife for the Saints, and he can throw a passing touchdown, he can rush for one, he can catch passes. Like, what can't he do, all right? And as far as the Bears, man, like, the defensive line, Montez Sweat playing today, like, I really wish, um, you know, our defense started to play a little bit better. They were decent today, but we need to get more out of this. Like, Derek Carr... Didn't really have much pressure in his face today. Uh, would like to get a little bit more. Um, so so that's kind of where things stand. Look, I didn't expect the Bears to win this game. I, I really didn't. But as the game started, they definitely had their opportunities and chances. And they just could not capitalize. And it ended up just costing them at the very end there. And yeah, them losing. So Tyson Bajan, not a great game at all by him. And uh, Justin Fields cannot come back sooner. Let me know what you guys think, man. Leave a comment down below with your thoughts on the game as always. Thanks for watching.